Well, for a different topic, does architecture relate to art, dance, even song? Well, apparently, yes, according to Superfront, a new space for architectural experiment in the bed area of Brooklyn, where artist Jimenez Lai's drawings are on view this month. Grit TV reporter Sarah Friedland stopped by and filed this report. The show's on through May 9th. Take a look for yourself and let us know what you think. Fiction is the impetus of architecture, and architecture is one of the best representations of culture. In other words, all the things that we imagine as architects being fake and being fictional uh, has immense power to transform culture. And that is why I am extremely interested in these stories that I make. All of them are directly about architecture, whether the discipline of architecture or the practice of architecture. A professor uh, from Ohio State University wrote about my work. He was talking about a kind of attitude that has to do with the architecture of the people instead of people of the architecture. How does a person respond or feel or let's say set the tone for the kind of architecture this building wants to be? Superfront is a gallery here in bed -Stuy. It was founded by Mitch McEwen. We're investigating architecture in, um, in a multidisciplinary way. We hold panel discussions, dance performances, um, an architects and residency program. Art galleries have a very focused way of kind of investigating art, but that doesn't totally exist in many places for architecture. Imenez's um, project was perfect because Imenez is really giving us a perspective of where we are right now. I joke that he has come to us from the future and is um, not warning us, but just showing us where we fit in architecture and the, the patterns that we are in right now and will continue if we stay as we are. They're really comical, but at the same time they're a little eerie because these, the things that are happening to these characters are, are really interesting and, and, and great and you kind of wish you were living in that kind of world sometimes, but other times you, you want to avoid that at all costs. Um, this one is about the extrusion of Central Park. The question is how high can we go, right? Uh, we're building all these really extremely high towers. So how high can we go? We can go until there's no more oxygen to breathe, which is stratosphere. And that's roughly 12 kilometers. So if you took the footprint of Central Park and extruded 12 kilometers, we could fit 87 million people inside uh, this building. And 87 million people is roughly the size of Germany. So uh, imagine taking all of a country into uh, one building. So, I mean, these kind of drastic measures uh, really kind of help me to understand the concept of density, of uh, orientation, of uh, projection. In terms of urbanism, I'm interested in a city with a lot of different characters. In particular, I'm talking about architecture as characters. If we can read an architecture that is legible uh, with a persona, uh, I think that's a really interesting thing uh, to be juxtaposed with another uh, character. And given enough of these patterns, I think we could, we could imagine a different kind of culture that is not top, top down. Uh, super top-down, that kind of culture is less interesting to me and I really wish that we have an urbanism that can encourage, uh, let's say, debates and conversations, and, uh, but, but with architecture. <laughs>